graphing a linear inequalities in two variables. A linear inequality in two variables can be written in one of four forms. Ax plus by greater than c, Ax plus by less than c, or greater than or equal to c, or less than or equal to c, where a, b, and c represent real numbers and a and b are not both zero. When you graph a linear inequality, the result will look like this. It has two points, a line, and a shaded part. Now, what are the steps on graphing linear inequalities? First, always start by isolating the variable y on the left side of the inequality. For example, we have four inequalities here, and as you can see, y is isolated on this side. If in case y is with other term, then you have to transpose that term to the other side to isolate y. Second step, change the inequality to equality symbol. Let us use again these four inequalities. You will just have to remove these symbols and change it with equal sign like this. What is the purpose of changing this into equal sign? We are changing the symbol into equal sign so that we can solve for its intercepts. Step 3. Graph the boundary line from step 2 in the Cartesian plane using x and y intercepts. Then to know what line shall you use, if it is greater than or less than, you will be using dashed line since that part is not included in the solution. But if the symbol of the given equation is greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, you have to use a solid line. It means the line is included in the solution. Then, to know which part will be shaded, you have to follow this. If the inequality symbol is greater than or greater than or equal to, shade the top portion. While if the inequality symbol is less than or equal to, you have to shade the bottom portion. Please take note that you can only apply this if you have isolated y from the very start. If not, then you may test the origin to know which part must be shaded. Let us have the first example. y is greater than x plus 1. To graph this linear inequality, let us use these steps. First step, always start by isolating the variable y on the left side of the inequality. And as you can see, in our given inequality, y is already isolated on the left side. Therefore, step 1 is already done. Then second step, change the inequality to equality symbol. So the inequality is y greater than x plus 1. Remove this greater than symbol and change this into equal sign so that later we can solve for the intercepts. Next, step 3. Graph the boundary line from step 2 in the Cartesian plane using x and y intercepts. So for the third step, we're going to use the equation that we have obtained in step 2 to solve for the intercepts. Let's start with solving the x-intercept. To solve, you just have to change the value of y into 0 using this equation. So we have y equals x plus 1. Remove y and change it into 0 or simply cancel y. Then after that, since we do not have any term on this side, we have to transpose any of these two terms. You may transpose x, you may also transpose positive 1. For example, I want to transpose positive x. So when you transpose, positive x will become negative x on the other side. Then cancel 0. Now we have negative x equals 1. Since we are solving for x, remove the negative sign. To remove it, just divide both sides by negative 1. So cancel the negative sign. 1 divided by negative 1 will give us negative 1. Therefore, the x-intercept of this inequality is equal to negative 1. Then, for y-intercept, change the value of x into 0 using the same equation y is equal to x plus 1. Remove x, change it with 0, or simply cancel x. Now, we only have y is equal to 1. So, 
to the y-intercept is equal to positive 1. Since we already have the intercepts, we may now graph. For the x-intercept, you just have to plot it on the x-axis. So the x-axis is the horizontal line, and what we need is negative 1. Negative 1 is here. Let's plot the point. Then for y-intercept, you will plot the point on the y-axis. So y-axis is here, and positive 1 is over here. Let's plot the point. Okay, now you may connect these two points to form a line. But please take note that you have to identify first what line shall you use, dashed line or solid line. So let us see. If the inequality given is greater than or less than, you have to use dashed line. But if the inequality given is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, you have to use solid line. Now, let us look at the given inequality. As you can see, the given here is greater than. Therefore, we have to use the dashed line. So, let's connect these two points using dashed line. Then after that, for step 4, we have to identify which part must be shaded. So, to know what portion will you shade, let us look at this. If the given inequality is greater than or greater than or equal to, you have to shade the top portion. But if the given inequality is less than or less than or equal to, you have to shade the bottom portion. So let's look at the given again. And we have here greater than. Therefore, what we need to shade is the top portion. Which of these two is the top portion? Of course, this one. So we will shade this part. Therefore, the solution of this inequality is the shaded part excluding this line because we use the dashed line. Another example, y minus 6 less than or equal to 3x. Following the steps, following the step 1, always start by isolating the variable y on the left side of the inequality. As you can see, this variable y is with other term, which is negative 6. Therefore, this negative 6 must be transposed to the other side. So, step 1, let us transpose negative 6. Since it's negative, when you transpose, it will become positive. Now, we have y less than or equal to 3x plus 6. Then, after that, proceed with the second step. Change the inequality symbol to equal sign. So, here... We have this equation now. Change it into equal sign. Now we have y is equal to 3x plus 6. Then for step 3, we will use this equation y is equal to 3x plus 6 to solve for its intercepts. Let's start with x-intercept by changing the value of y into 0. y is equal to 3x plus 6. Remove y and change it with 0 like this. Then transpose any of these two terms since we do not have any term on the left side anymore. So, for example, I want to transpose again the term with the variable x, which is the positive 3. So, positive 3 transpose to the other side, it will become negative 3x. Remove 0. So, we have negative 3x equals 6. Cancel negative 3 since we are solving for x. To cancel, just divide both sides by negative 3. Okay, then cancel. After that, divide this. 6 divided by negative 3, you will have negative 2. So the x-intercept of this inequality is equal to negative 2. While for y-intercept, same process, but you will be changing x into 0. Same equation, but this time you will change the variable x into 0. So 3 will be multiplied to 0. 3 times 0 will also be equal to 0. Therefore, you may just cancel that. Now, we only have y equals 6. And that is the y-intercept of this equation. Okay, now let us graph these two intercepts. For x-intercept, graph it on the x-axis. So, x-axis is here and negative 2 is in this position. Let us plot the point. Then, for y-intercept, we have positive 6 y-axis is here and positive 6 is over here. Let us plot the point. Alright, after that, draw the line. Connect these two points by drawing a line. But again, you have to know if solid line or dashed line will be used. Let us see. If greater than or less than is the symbol, then you have to use dashed line. If greater than or equal to, 
or less than or equal to, you have to use solid line. So let us look at our inequality on step 1. Y is less than or equal to. So less than or equal to is this one. Therefore, we have to use the solid line. So let's connect these two points. Okay. Now for step 4, identify the shaded part by just looking at its inequality symbol again. If they use greater than, shade the shade the top portion if they use less than shade the bottom portion and as you can see the symbol used here is less than or equal to this one therefore you have to shade the bottom portion which one is bottom okay so this one let us have the shade